Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's Editing and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can speed up or change the duration of clips in um, Adobe Premiere Pro. So first off you're going to want to import your file, so just go to file and then import. And so I've just imported the tutorial that I for the Premiere Pro Basics, so if you want to check it out just look in the top right of the screen and you can click that or down in the description I'll leave a link for it as well. So then you're just going to drag it in into your sequence and then just click change sequence settings if it comes up and then I'm just going to delete the audio for now so if we just go right click unlink and now I'll just delete the audio just to make it a bit easier um, and then what we'll do is we'll just zoom out quickly now we can see the length of it right now so right now it's going for just under 12 minutes so if we right click it then we can go to speed slash duration and now we've got some of these different um, choices we've got the speed we've got the duration we've got reverse speed and ripple edit and we've also got maintain audio pitch so the speed obviously if you put it um, to a higher speed then it's going to be going 150 percent um, so you can see now the duration has changed and it's pretty much taken off um, about half of that time um, so then if you want to slow it down you'll just be putting it onto a lower number so you can see it's practically doubled now so we'll leave that for now and then what you can also change is if you click on duration you can set the exact duration so say I want it to go for exactly five minutes I'll just set these to zero and now it's going to go for exactly five minutes if I leave it like that so you can see the percentage has automatically changed as well so say we've got that so now you know it's going to be going quicker um, and then if you hit reverse speed um, if we hit OK then it's going to be going backwards in that speed um, so now it's all going to be playing backwards um, and yeah so then if you go right click speed duration it keeps all these stuff here so you can change whatever you want to so say if I don't want it to be reversed anymore then it'll go back to being the right way around so then say if I bring in this clip again, I know it's the same clip, but we just drag it in, I'll right click, go on link, and then just delete that audio file again. And then if we right click on the first frame, if we go to speed slash duration, um, we might then change the speed to even lower. And then if we click ripple edit, um, we'll just undo that reverse speed, and then we hit OK. What it's going to do, it actually brought the clip next to it back down right next to it as well. So if we right click, go speed duration again, we'll uncheck ripple edit and we'll bring it down again and then you'll see that the clip doesn't stay right next to it so you can do the same thing if you go ripple edit and then if you make it um, slower then that clip will um, keep that amount of space that you had there so then if we just I'll just delete these files for now and then if we bring in the audio um, if we just uh, right click now again we can go speed slash duration and then we've got maintain audio pitch so that's obviously something you can sort of figure it out but I'll show you what it is anyways so if you click maintain audio pitch um, then everything will still um, be at the same sort of speed except the audio pitch because um, generally when you think of something speeding up with audio you think of the audio going higher or if it's slower then it going lower so if you click maintain audio pitch then the audio uh, pitch won't change so then when you play it it'll have that same audio pitch so then if you go into speed duration and then uncheck it it'll use that so if it's going quicker it'll have a high pitch so if we just play here you can see my voice is very high right there and then if we bring it down just bring the speed down and then you'll hear my voice is very low <clears throat> so one thing just to be careful of when you're making it slower is there will be less frames per second so if you just watch this it sort of looks a bit jittery um, but if you speed it up then that won't matter you'll just have more frames per second but then if you export in say 60 frames per second then it'll export as that anyways so then if you want to change the audio speed and not the video speed if you right click go unlink and then if you just right click say the audio and then go to speed slash duration you could say put that really fast and then that's changed except the video hasn't changed so so the audio is different um, but the video is still going slowly so thanks for watching I hope you're able to learn how you can now change the speed and duration of your clips in Premiere Pro 
um, and I will see you in the next one.